Have you ever come across a TV series that instantly transported you to the world of childhood mischief and laughter? If you're familiar with the 1959 TV series, Dennis the Menace, you're likely to have a cherished memory associated with this classic show. But even if you're new to it, you're in for a delightful ride. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's delve into some random facts about the show, shall we? Dennis the Menace, based on the comic strip by Hank Ketchum, brought the misadventures of the mischievous, but endearing Dennis Mitchell to life on the small screen. With its warm humor and relatable family dynamics, the show quickly found its place in the hearts of viewers. Jay North's portrayal of Dennis and the memorable supporting cast made this series a household favorite, running for four seasons and leaving an indelible mark on the world of television. From Mr. Wilson's perpetual exasperation to Dennis' knack for getting into humorous predicaments, Dennis the Menace captured the essence of childhood escapades and the trials of parenting. It's a timeless classic that continues to bring joy to generations. So, what's your cherished memory or personal experience with Dennis the Menace? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your nostalgia and let's keep the love for this iconic series alive. Dennis the Menace, the 1959 TV series, adapted from Hank Ketchum's beloved comic strip of the same name introduced audiences to the mischievous yet endearing Dennis Mitchell, a precocious young boy with an uncanny talent for getting himself and everyone around him into comical predicaments. Set in the idyllic suburban neighborhood of Maple Street, the show revolved around Dennis' interactions with his loving parents, Henry and Alice, and their grumpy neighbor, Mr. Wilson. The series' unique blend of humor and heartwarming moments made it a staple of family entertainment. Jay North's portrayal of Dennis and Joseph Kearns' iconic turn as Mr. Wilson added depth to the characters, while the show's wholesome, family-friendly style resonated with viewers. Dennis the Menace left a lasting imprint on popular culture, becoming a symbol of youthful innocence and the challenges of parenting. Its influence can still be seen in subsequent family sitcoms, making it a timeless classic that continues to entertain generations. Dennis the Menace, the 1959 TV series, has an interesting backstory. One notable fact is that Joseph Kearns, who played the grandfatherly neighbor Mr. George Wilson, was just 10 years older than the biological father of Jay North, the actor who portrayed Dennis Mitchell. This fact highlights an age difference between the two actors that might not be apparent when watching the show. Kieran's portrayal of George Wilson as an elderly neighbor adds to the charm of the series. It's interesting to note that sometimes, appearances on television can be deceiving. This fact adds depth to the dynamics of the show and the casting choices made during its production. It's a reminder that in the world of television, actors often play characters who may not necessarily reflect their actual ages. So, next time you watch Dennis the Menace, keep in mind this intriguing age difference between Joseph Kearns and Jay North, which adds a unique layer to their on-screen relationship. In the 1959 TV series Dennis the Menace, one interesting fact is that the character role of Margaret Wade was personally picked by Jay North, who played the titular character, Dennis Mitchell. This casting choice adds a unique perspective to the show, as it was a deliberate decision by the main actor. Additionally, the show's choice of names for Dennis' neighbors, George and Martha Wilson, is noteworthy. They share the same first names as America's original first family, George and Martha Washington. This subtle reference adds a touch of humor to the series. Moreover, Gloria Henry, who portrayed Dennis' mother, revealed in an interview for the first season DVD set that in the series' debut, Dennis the Menace, Dennis goes to the movies, Dennis intentionally got into mischief. However, for the rest of the series, any misadventures caused by Dennis were always the result of his earnestness, or despite his good intentions, but never due to misbehavior. This insight sheds light on the character's nature throughout the show. These intriguing facts provide a glimpse into the casting and character development of Dennis the Menace, a classic TV series from 1959. The 1959 TV series Dennis the Menace had a notable connection to other classic TV shows. The house where Dennis Mitchell and his parents lived was the same house where Donna Stone and her family lived earlier in the Donna Reed show. Additionally, the house next door where Mr. Wilson lived 
was the same house where the Anderson family lived earlier in Father Knows Best. Both of these houses were located on Blondie Street, a residential neighborhood set at Warner Ranch in Burbank. This faux block also included the homes from Bewitched, the Partridge family, and Hazel. In fact, the 1998 movie Pleasantville used the entire block to recreate an idealized TV neighborhood. This connection to other classic shows highlights the shared production locations and set design in the television industry of the time. These iconic houses, like the one inhabited by Dennis and his neighbor Mr. Wilson, have become part of the collective memory of classic TV sitcoms, making Dennis the Menace a notable piece of television history. Dennis the Menace, the 1959 TV series, was based on the comic strip created by Hank Ketchum. The main character, Dennis Mitchell, was modeled after Hank's own son, Dennis Ketchum. While the character in the show was known for his mischievous but affable nature, the real Dennis Ketchum had a somewhat tragic life. At the age of 12, Dennis lost his mother to a drug overdose during her divorce from his father. Hank then moved Dennis to Switzerland, where he had trouble adjusting and faced issues in school. Eventually, Hank sent Dennis to a boarding school in the USA while he stayed behind in Switzerland with his new family. Despite his challenging upbringing, Dennis managed to turn his life around even serving in the military and fighting in Vietnam. However, he struggled with PTSD and remained estranged from his father, who had earned a considerable income from the comic strips based on his son. This real-life contrast to the character's cheerful demeanor adds depth to the history of the show and the people behind it. Dennis the Menace, the 1959 TV series, had a unique history in the United Kingdom. To avoid confusion with an existing British comic strip of the same name, the show's title was shortened to simply Dennis. This alteration allowed it to coexist with the British version without causing any naming conflicts. The British comic strip, which shared the name, also made its way to television with the title Dennis the Menace. This decision was taken to sidestep any potential mix-up in the audience's minds when both shows were on the air. This interesting tidbit sheds light on the show's international adaptation and how titles can play a crucial role in avoiding confusion in the world of entertainment. Joseph Kearns and Herbert Anderson, the actors behind the characters George Wilson and Henry Mitchell, appeared to be a generation apart on the show. However, it might come as a surprise that when the series began in 1959, Kearns was 52 years old, while Anderson was 42. This age difference showcases the actor's skill in portraying characters that were seemingly quite different in age, highlighting their acting abilities and the magic of television. The character of Dennis Mitchell was a lovable rascal on the show, but he was also listed as the eighth biggest brat in TV Guide's ranking of TV's 10 biggest brats. This ranking occurred 46 years after the series originally aired, demonstrating the enduring impact of Dennis the Menace as a classic character in the world of television. Despite his mischievous nature, Dennis Mitchell remains a beloved and memorable character to this day. In conclusion, Dennis the Menace made its mark not only as an endearing classic TV series, but also for its unique international title adaptation, the impressive acting skills of its cast, and the lasting legacy of its titular character. These facts provide a glimpse into the show's intriguing history and its enduring popularity in the world of television. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the whimsical world of the 1959 TV series, Dennis the Menace, I invite you to pause and reflect on your own personal connection with this timeless classic. Whether you were a young scamp, much like our mischievous hero, Dennis, or a wise observer of his antics, there's something undeniably special about the memories this show has left behind. Did you ever find yourself chuckling at Dennis' innocent yet exasperating antics? Or perhaps you saw a bit of your own childhood adventures mirrored in his escapades. Maybe you've even passed down the legacy of Dennis to a new generation, sharing the joys and lessons of this series with your own children or grandchildren. It's in these shared moments and stories that we discover the true magic of Dennis the Menace. It's a show that has bridged generations, bringing families together in laughter and in the recognition that, deep down, we all have a bit of Dennis within us. As we celebrate the fond memories and enduring appeal of this classic series, I encourage you to share your favorite moments, your reflections, and your thoughts about Dennis and his world. What lessons did you learn from Mr. Wilson or Mrs. Mitchell? How did Dennis' infectious enthusiasm brighten your day? 
Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane with us and for keeping the spirit of Dennis the Menace alive. Your engagement and enthusiasm are what make these timeless stories so enduring. So, share your thoughts and let's keep the conversation alive. After all, the joy of Dennis the Menace is a treasure worth passing down through the ages.